Hello everyone. SAP TechEd is a two-day event where tech expert and IT leaders come together to get to know about best practices, insights, and latest innovation from SAP and partners. So, how typically SAP TechEd is structured? It starts with the keynote from SAP executive, typically a board member. Then it is followed by lectures, tech lectures sessions and you have a hands-on sessions and apart from it there are certain breakout session like a demo pods and developer garage and etc so can you guess what was the central theme for this year's sap ticket yes generative ai was a central theme for this year's ticket and apart from it, there were topics like SAP B2B, that is business technology platform, and SAP cloud product innovations. With that, let us get into more details, SAP business AI approach. So what is business AI? Generative AI plus enterprise data plus business process know-how put together SAP call it as a business AI. So the key product to implement execute business AI approach is Joel. SAP Joel is a natural language co-pilot. Think about chat GPT-4 in the enterprise context. Chat GPT-4 scans, crawls entire internet data and provides a contextual answers and make the job simpler. Same way SAP is trying to achieve in enterprise context using SAP Joan. So it is a co-pilot that truly understands the business by analyzing the business data and providing the uh, context to the user. So it is expected to change the user experience of SAP, the way how theory changed the uh, user experience, the same way or more than that, SAP Joel is expected to change the user experience. So SAP Joel is embedded in all key cloud products of SAP. So when you say cloud ERP, think about S4 HANA, BW4 HANA, human capital management, think about SAP success factor, spend management, business network, think about SAP Conquer, SAP Ariba, customer relationship management, C4C, and business technology platform act as a foundation platform for all these products. So SAP not only Partnering with Microsoft, you know that Microsoft owns the, have a great partnership with the OpenAI and it is tightly integrated in that Azure platform and AWS, uh, IBM, Google Cloud. Not only partnership, SAP also invest heavily in startups. startups. Uh, billions of dollars has been invested in startups, whatever been listed here. So let us again touch upon uh, other products which SAP introduced this year in Ticket. So one of the key product which SAP introduced was SAP Build Code. So in year 2022, SAP introduced SAP Build so that is a product for low code or no code uh, environment meaning uh, it doesn't require a, a full fledged developer to use the product whereas sap is now introducing sap build code it is for pro developer so it is trying to create a fusion development environment that is sap build or you can call it as sap build app plus you have a SAP build code. SAP build app or SAP build 
is for i would say uh, low code or no code uses whereas sap build code is for pro code developers so you can see certain numbers here uh, sap provides a, a lot of templates and uh, especially sap build code is optimized for cap development that is cloud application programming uh, development and with the support of joel sap joel is integrated in sap build code so it can even generate the code and provide to the developer so that the code development will be uh, much more faster and this year sap also released sap b2b developer guides basically it provides a set of standards like it has to use developer has to use fury elements or sap ua5 elements those sort of a detail what is uh, best practices for b2b development is provided in the sap b2b developers guide so it is for both abap development environment cloud development environment and as well as for uh, cap development environment that is java and javascript such uh, such languages can be used so here you can see sap b2b abap de development environment now it is supported by uh, generative ai and SAP, uh, SAP Joel is a key part uh, integrated into this various products. Business technology platform, as I mentioned here earlier, it acts as a foundation for various uh, SAP products, success factors, Hariba. If you want to do any extension in this product, SAP technology platform act as a foundation. So here it is a bit more uh, detail on uh, extending the SAP products. So SAP's principle or advice for extending the product is simple. Keep the core clean. I would say SAP has evolved over the years. So if you are a whole time SAP developer or SAP uh, SAP user, you would know about core mod, that is core modification. SAP, long ago, it allowed developers to go directly to the code, source code, and make some changes. Then later, it evolved that it has to be, developers should be using only user exits, uh, like screen exit, field exit. I'm sure old timer, if you're a old timer, you can remember uh, SAP SD user exit, some, such as uh, MV45, AFZZ, etc. There is, when we see, uh, so now what SAP is saying is, SAP is providing two framework. One is in-app development framework, and the other one is side-by-side uh, -side extension framework. So these two frameworks, does not uh, hamper the innovation. So you can continue to do uh, SAP product uh, innovations and uh, uh, business process optimization, but using these two frameworks. So if I have to give an example for uh, in-app extension, think about creating custom tables fields or creating a custom CDS views or uh, adding or extending business logic using baddies. These are the example for uh, in-app development. Typically, if it is a minor change, uh, you generally go for in-app development that uses uh, a back cloud model. Whereas, if you want to write a separate application, external application, that can run on top of core application, S4 HANA application, then you go for side-by-side -side extension or SAP business technology platform. Potentially, you can use any programming language to write a, a code uh, because it uses SAP standard API. So you can use uh, 
uh, avamp java javascript and develop uh, uh, any application that can run parallel to the sap core application these are the some products uh, key products sap uh, introduce uh, sap integration suite so sap integration suite helps to integrate a business process across different systems sap and non sap uh, if you think about sap you can think about uh, success factor ariba concur field glass all for integrating all the product you can use uh, sap integration suite it provides uh, api management it provides some um, open messaging services and uh, yeah edge integration cell uh, is a locally uh, installed runtime uh, it helps to uh, enable the hybrid deployment sap signovia it is a business transformation suite from sap so again uh, you have a, a llm large language model uh, plus sap's 50 years of industry insight and best practices uh, plus you have a, a customized anonymized customer data put together sap call it as a lpm large process model so as i earlier told uh, sap has embedded uh, generative ai in each product in sap signovia also sap has embedded it so on a continuous basis generative ai reads the transaction logs and it not only highlights the process weaknesses but also provide recommendation to improve the process lean ix again it is a company uh, sap acquired this year and integrated with sap signovia so sap is providing various pre built automation uh, it it offers uh, workflow management uh, robotic process automation all those things uh, sap is offering so that it helps to do a rapid development as you can see here sap bill sap signovia integration suite so if you go to a site called api.sap.com there you can find all this pre built integrations and ready to use api it is being categorized by a process product category and industry so for example if you want to uh, write a program or you are having application where you have to create a sales order or modify the sales order just go to this website and uh, search for uh, uh, sales order and you will get the relevant apis then you can go ahead and implement it vector engine uh, it helps to effectively store and retrieve the unstructured data so it turns the uh, business process application into intelligent application platform generative ai hub uh, again uh, for uh, developers it provides instant access to large language model uh, we talked about uh, azure open ai it is available in generative ai hub and uh, falcon and it has a plan to integrate or bring more uh, large language model for example as early as uh, first quarter of next year uh, it is planning to bring uh, meta slama uh, language model into generative ai hub so what is the use case what is the purpose of uh, bringing it just think about uh, chat gpt4 in a enterprise context so using this generative ai hub uh, using this language models it can be implemented uh, in sap environment so uh, sap analytics cloud lightweight viewer again it is a feature uh, uh, that helps to run sap analytics faster sap claims that it is 60% uh, faster than previous uh, state classical state and sap data sphere again it is a uh, sap data warehouse and cloud 
Uh, SAP Analytics just as feature is similar to SAP Zone, uh, Generative AI Copilot, where you can uh, ask any question and uh, it provides a contextual answer. SAP Cloud ALM uh, lifecycle management, right from the implementation uh, up to the operation support, uh, it takes care. Think about uh, SAP Solution Manager in cloud. Uh, to put it uh, very simplistically. These are the various uh, conversion approach SAP discussed. Uh, so one is, you know, greenfield conversion, that is a new implementation. If you want to uh, go for uh, S4 HANA, you can go for a greenfield approach where you have to build up the system from scratch. The other one is brownfield approach. Uh, that is a system conversion. Whereas SAP has now come up with a uh, much more uh, alternative path where you don't have to go for a greenfield or brownfield. Again, I believe it is based on the customer feedback. Uh, it is providing option called selective data transition where uh, you will able to uh, do the conversion using only uh, selected company code or uh, certain org units only those data you can able to transfer to new SAP HANA system. So again, this is one of the perk in going and attending the SAP ticket. You will able to meet uh, ex-colleagues and able to spend time with your current colleagues also. And uh, yeah, I cannot uh, uh, complete it without saying the uh, food options and snacks option provided by SAP. Yeah. It was uh, altogether a, a good ticket. Thank you all. Bye.